Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Rugby Wrap-Up. Matt McCarthy at the Studio 34 Fantasy Sports Network here on West 35th Street in New York City with Mr. Peter Forsman and Mr. Steve Lewis. Uh, We have our latest uh, Community Corner segment brought to you by the Friends of the British Council. Peter, tell us about your situation with Seamus Kelly, his dad, the Kelly family, and ALS. Thanks, Matt. This year, I'm going to be uh, participating in a half Ironman in order to raise uh, much-needed funds for the research and to find a cure for ALS. In the past five years, I've done some fundraising for specific charities, and this year I had the opportunity to be able to work with an organization called ALS One that is working with the Kelly family, and uh, as many of you know, uh, within the rugby community, the Kelly family here in New York and also uh, within uh, the U.S. rugby team has been a significant presence uh, over the past few years. Now, John Kelly is somebody that I coach with over at Xavier High School a few years back um, and had a significant impact on my life just because of the quality of individual that he is and uh, he came down with ALS you know so it was a uh, bit of a shock and this is something that uh, you know there's a couple of different types of ALS so some of it is genetic and some of it just happens to anybody could happen to you could happen to you could happen to me at any time there's no uh, real warning signs about it coming Um, so um, this is what happened to John the research that they've been doing um, has identified a specific gene that leads to ALS so they've been doing some fantastic work Um, they're coming out with uh, with new drugs all the time and new treatment Mm. and like I said in the past I've done some fundraisers uh, 100 mile bike rides and stuff but I really wanted to challenge myself and go a little bit outside the box and uh, uh, to be able to do something for the Ke- uh, Kelly family and uh, also for others that are affected with this particular, uh, you know, a terrible disease. So, so just, just, for the, just to clarify, uh, Seamus Kelly was the center, outside center and sometimes inside center, I, th- I think, for Team USA during the last Rugby World Cup and prior to that in the warm-up matches. Uh, Xavier grad, Cal rugby guy, um, and, and his father and his mom were, were with us on the World Cup tour uh, pretty much the whole time and we saw John start to get the symptoms and it was just uh, it was it was really unsettling because he is such a great guy yeah he really is he's dedicated uh, pretty much his whole life towards uh, youth athletics and to his uh, his two sons um, uh, who's played for played for Xavier uh, high school um, and then you know Seamus went on to play for Cal uh, the great program that the collegiate program that they have out there um, and uh, you know it was one of those things that after uh, one of our coaching sessions, after one of our training sessions, um, where the coaches actually got involved with the kids and uh, and John, all of a sudden he started limping a little bit. Yeah. And I asked him what's wrong, and he said, you know, I don't know. It's just, uh, uh, you know, something just isn't right. Yeah. And that's pretty much if you're going to come away with a uh, with a tagline, not only for John but just anybody who is recently diagnosed, you just something isn't right. You you start moving a little bit slower. You get a little hitch in yeah. your giddy up. Uh, you get a little limp, and you don't really know what it is, and it's oftentimes not until a couple of years later that you truly find out what has happened and uh, and then you come down with the diagnosis and this is exactly what happened in John's case. If we can get more people involved, I mean, more money that uh, that we raise for this particular organization, it, it'd be better, it leads to uh, better treatment and uh, hopefully at one point in time, uh, a cure. And, you know, to be clear, it's not a fatal um, diagnosis. There, it, it is curable. Right, we can do something uh, as far as going out and making a difference. So there's the link. Okay, that folks can go to, and what what do you need them to do? Well, you know, just donate. Just donate. Okay. All right. What about some companies or any anybody helping you out with this thing? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact. Um, you know, uh, Pig and Whistle, which uh, I know that everybody here is very familiar West with. West Thirty Sixth Street, uh, the best exactly rugby pub right, in New York right? City. Uh, never been Cormac- there. Never been there. <laughs> <laughs> Cormac McCormick, the man with two first names, uh, and Des O'Brien have uh, very generously donated and uh, are working uh, to support this particular uh, endeavor, as well as MKG Construction. Uh, James Kennedy has also, uh, you know, put out uh, some significant funds for uh, for us, um, and uh, you know, it's fantastic the way that the community has come together um, and continues to come together in the New York City area uh, for this particular cause, as well as everything else, uh, you know, rugby related here in New York. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got a lot going on with the rugby community helping out in different areas, and it's just a it's a good thing. It's an uplifting thing, and it's another reason why, folks, you should get your kids playing rugby. 
And on that note, Matt McCarthy for Mr. Peter Forsman, Mr. Steve Lewis here at the Studio 34 Fantasy Sports Network on West 35th Street in New York City for Rugby Wrap-Up, signing off.